Happy Go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Unam Dikano is seriously sick, may die anytime soon. Unam Dikano is seriously sick, may die anytime soon. So, my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, Please stay tuned as I read to this news. The health of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Unam Dekano, has worsened as he had been diagnosed with gastrointestinal disorder following persistent heartburn. His lawyer and human rights activist, Ithia Yin, a Geofor, said on Monday. According to him, despite the order of Justice Binta Lunyako of a federal high court in Nabuja that the IPOB leader should be given serious medical attention. The Department of State Services has been acting on the contrary. Kano has been detained in DSS custody for about 14 months and is facing trial in court over alleged treason charges. A Jofo raised the alarm in a statement after his visit to Kano in the custody of the DSS in Abuja. while stating that the court's orders must be obeyed, particularly where the order has not been set aside, he said the DSS is a creation of the law and must not be seen to be operating above the laws of the country which created it. He said presently, Onyedul is experiencing gastrointestinal disorder which requires regular intake of antacid and other availing medical solutions. Following persistent heartburn, unfortunately the DSS have denied him the least of the prescribed painkiller tablet that could provide momentary relief. Following this development, our erudite lead counsel, Chief Mike Ozeko Mesan, has immediately swung into action to ensure immediate end to this maltreatment and impunity. Nevertheless, we still deem it compelling to place the world on notice that should anything untoward happen to Loyedu, the DSS and the federal government of Nigeria should be held responsible. Highlight of the visit was to review other pending litigations initiated against the Federal Republic of Nigeria for their grave violation of international laws and treaties in their criminal abduction and extraordinary rendition of Oyedo sanctions and reparation arising from the act of state terrorism. The visit also afforded us the opportunity to review the overall welfare of Oyedu as well as the level of the DSS compliance with existing court order in the management of Oyedu's health condition. For the records, it is pertinent to reiterate that for the umpteenth time, the lawless DSS have continued to treat with greatest contempt this day the existing court order which specifically directed that Onyedu should be allowed access to his personal medical doctor for an independent review, investigation of his current health status. 
This is following the continued deflation of its potassium level. Regrettably, this court, this court order is gravely flouted with impunity by the DSS as efforts made by Oyedo's personal doctor to see him at the DSS facility where Oyedo is currently being detained was rebuffed, rejected by the DSS. Enough is enough for this seemingly impunity. Kano also extended his love and appreciation to all his supporters for remaining firm and strongly holding the fort. Ejiofo said he was particularly impressed with their common civility, even in the face of endless provocations, with a call on them to keep it up, while believing strongly that God's grace is leading us towards overwhelming victory, which is no longer far-fetched. The health of the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Unam Dikanu, has worsened as he had been diagnosed with gastrointestinal disorder. Following persistent heartburn, his loyal and human rights activist, Ifiai Ejiofo said on Monday. According to him, despite the order of justice, Bintalun Yakul of the Federal High Court in Abuja that the IPOB leader should be given serious medical attention, the Department of State Services has been acting on the contrary. Kano has been detained in DSS custody for about 14 months and is facing trial in court over alleged treason charges. A GFO raised the alarm in a statement after his visit to Kano in the custody of the DSS in Abuja while stating that court orders must be obeyed, particularly where the order has not been set aside, he said the DSS is a creation of the law and must not be seen to be operating above the laws of the country which created it. So my dear listeners, from wherever you are listening from, please do drop by at the comment section. And let's know what your view is all about.